In April 2006, the QM2, the world's largest luxury ocean liner, made its debut appearance in New York City. The ship's arrival marked the opening of the $52 million Brooklyn cruise ship terminal. A crowd of eager Brooklyn residents came out to welcome the historic occasion. 230 years ago, another vessel of historic significance was birthed in this exact same inlet here along the Red Hook waterfront. This one not welcomed by all. The 61-gun British man of war HMS Eagle, September 1776. The HMS Eagle was originally positioned off the tip of Manhattan where it had remained since its victory in the Battle of Brooklyn on August 29th. The Continental Army was quite undisciplined. They were no match for the greatest military force in the world. Admiral Howe was the captain of the Eagle and the commander of the entire British offensive. He was confident that the rebels would soon surrender. He thought he just had to maintain his position and wait. General Washington thought that he who controlled the water would control the island. Without a navy of his own, Manhattan was virtually impossible to defend. On September 8th, he explained to Congress in a letter that the entire fate of New York City and perhaps the revolution hinged on this new secret weapon. The Revolutionary War sympathizer David Bush Nell invented two submarines, the Turtle and the Acorn. With the arranged peace conference on Staten Island just four days away, Washington believed if he launched an offensive and managed to destroy the most powerful vessel in the British Navy, he could gain some leverage. The first attempt was carried out on September 8th. Sergeant Ezra Lee of Lyme, Connecticut was assigned to the mission of operating the turtle. After the Battle of Brooklyn, the troops were deserting, the troops morale were down, Washington desperate for victory, and uh, he thought uh, the submarine was, would be the solution. The mission was a failure. Lee managed to successfully navigate the turtle to where the eagle was moored, but was unable to drill through the copper-lined hull of the ship in order to release the explosive. He eventually surfaced for air and was spotted. Some redcoats gave chase in a rowboat. Lee was forced to scuttle the sub and swim back to shore. When they went to search the water, they didn't find anything, right? The guy and the turtle had got away. After all this, it looks too suspicious, and they realized they were too close to land. So General Howe decided to move the boat across over to Brooklyn. With the Eagle no longer in close proximity, um, their opportunity was lost. 